Welcome back to another Nano video. Today we're going to show you how to access and use NVIDIA's newest experimental feature, the performance overlay feature, which allows you to monitor your GPU's performance, latency, temperature, fan speed, power, and voltage. You can also tweak and auto overclock your graphics card. So let's get started. Firstly, for requirements, you're going to need an NVIDIA graphics card after the GTX 900 series to have access to most of the monitoring features. In order to scan and auto overclock your card, you're going to need an RTX 20 series card or higher. You're also going to need a driver update later than version 456.38. Lastly, you're going to need to have the latest version of NVIDIA GeForce Experience the current version, as of the time this video that was recorded, is version 3.20.5.70. If you have these requirements, then you're ready to start to enable these features. To enable the performance overlay, you'll need to open the NVIDIA GeForce Experience application. Once it is opened, click the cogwheel icon and select Enable Experimental Features. GeForce Experience may start an update. If it does, let it finish and complete the update if it needs it. Once the update is finished, reopen the GeForce Experience application and see if the Experimental Features checkbox is checked. Also ensure that the in-game overlay option is also enabled. In order to start to use the performance overlay, you can press the keys Alt plus Z on your keyboard to bring up the GeForce Experience in-game overlay. From there, select the performance option. This will bring up the main performance tab, which will allow you to monitor your graphics card's performance, temperature, and latency, as well as do any performance tuning if it is available for your graphics card. If you want to toggle and have the performance overlay feature enabled while you're in a game, click the cogwheel icon in the main performance tab. This will bring up the HUD layout screen. Make sure you are in the performance HUD selection, which will be green to note which HUD is selected. From there, you can select which area of the screen you would like your performance overlay to be in, as well as which type of performance overlay you would like. The types of performance overlays are off, which will disable the performance overlay, FPS, which will show your current frame rate in a game as a counter on the screen, BASIC, which will show your frame rate, your 99% frame rate, your render latency, your CPU, and your GPU utilization, ADVANCE, which will show you all those past options as well as your GPU clock, your GPU memory clock, GPU temperature, your GPU fan speed, your GPU power, and your GPU voltage. With latency being the last mode, which shows you your frame rate, your render present latency, and your render latency. Set and configure the HUD in the way you like. I'm going to select my position as the top left hand corner, the setting as advanced, and I'm going to exit the HUD layout screen. As you can see, it automatically keeps the performance tab open and enables it to be used once configured. You can toggle the performance overlay from being displayed on or off by pressing Alt plus R. This can be done while in game, on your desktop, or while using any application. This way you can get some more accurate readings about your performance or what your graphics card is doing without needing to tab out or open any additional software. Keep in mind, it's always running in the background ready for you to use so long as you have GeForce Experience opening on your startup or on boot. In order to use the automatic performance tuning and overclocking feature, press Alt plus Z and then click the performance button again to bring up the main performance tab. From there, enable automatic performance tuning. On the first time, it will give you a warning saying that overclocking may create instability, Click OK and it will start automatically scanning. This will take quite a while, around 20 minutes, as it will scan each voltage step for the GPU. At the end, it will show you your last scan result and the approximate overclock it's set for each voltage step in megahertz. You can disable the overclock by clicking the toggle off. 
Lastly, you can also set your maximum targets using the sliders for voltage, power, and temperature, as well as set the fan speed of your card, much like in MSI Afterburner. This, however, will only be what your card's BIOS allows you to use, so it will only extend if your card allows you to do it. Once you've configured your settings, click Apply to enable them. If you wish to go back to your default card configuration at any time, just click the Reset button and your card will put everything back to complete default. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Tell us in the comments section below what kind of performance scan you got, or maybe just tell us if this helped you monitor your performance in games to keep your temperatures low. Subscribe for more tutorials like this, and click the like button if this video helped you or a friend. We'll catch you guys in the next video.